Hello and welcome to a Smurd P video and today we are looking at Alita 1. So as you can see she comes with the instructions to the side and the packaging which is standard legacy packaging which looks really nice. And this is a Dulux class figure. There's a side, there's a bag, she changed in 14 steps and there is some beautiful artwork. So let's move that to the side and out of the way <clears throat> and let's focus on why we're really here. To look at the figure. So there she is, a little one, which is really nice because um, over the years, um, toy companies have been known to not release female figures. So the fact that we, over the last sort of five years, we've had quite a few. You know, we've had numerous RCs, a little one, obviously, uh, Windblade. And uh, Chromia, that's the one that I was thinking of. And obviously a little one is specific to G1. So if I just adjust my camera slightly so you can see the head sculpt looks very, very nice. I like the little bits under the eyes. That looks very, very cool. And there's a little Sigma on the sides of the head sculpt, which look like flowers, which is interesting. You get a nice Autobot sign there. And I'd have to go back and watch the G1 uh, episode to see what she looks like and there were other g1 female figures as well and that was pretty much about it so beautiful me i love the fact that they've got little details on the feet it's not just clear cut she does have a, a big backpack but she's got big arms as well now oh sorry not big arms she's got this big frame at the top sort of thing which does I mean, you can just push that out of the way if you want to, like that. Um, I'm not sure if it makes much difference, to be fair. Entirely up to you. She does come with two guns. Uh, they are this see-through sort of blue plastic, which um, I'm not going to lie, I'm never a fan of that. But she does come with them, which is cool. I'm doing all sorts of annoying things. I'm not sure if she's meant to actually be like that. It's meant to be perhaps more like that. Maybe that's what she's meant to look like. No, no, they're meant to be above her shoulders. Anyway, let's look at articulation quickly. So, head can turn all the way around. Um, but be aware, you've got this piece here. So I wouldn't do that too often. You could end up accidentally damage your figure. There's a little movement on the up and down. She is never going to get the full 360. We already know that. But the arm is capable of doing that. She can lift up. She has swivel there. She has swivel there. She has the usual single joint, which is Transformers conformity. Then there is the hand that moves. She can go all the way around with the waist if you wanted to. She can do a full 360 on the legs. There is the up like that, which is the single. And well, that just pops out. So not much movement. So there is a swivel on the boy joint on the actual hip. So articulation is sort of there, but it is not perfect, which is not the end of the world, but they've also, so they have given us in my mind a, a decent robot mode. And then they've sort of given us this, um, hopefully this, this beautiful art mode, which I will go transform her in. Um, I was just thinking the guns, the guns can't read. I mean, you can stick the guns on the side here if you want, or you can stick them down on, perhaps I'm actually showing you, you can stick them on the legs if you want them to. It looks a bit weird. Or you could put them in there if you wanted to, entirely up to you. So, but pretty much the, the main place is the hands. And that is it. So I'm going to go get uh, a little one transformed. All right, so here is a little one in the orb mode. And I've got to say, it was a, a lot of fun uh, transforming and it does look very, very cool. And it also clips together very, very nicely. It just looks very, very decent. And I haven't commented on the colors, but they just seem to complement each other. This sort of pinky and light sort of browny red, etc. It looks very, very... Awesome. Um, I guess 
I, I mean, I could gripe that there's feet on the back. It would have been cool if they had found a way to incorporate them underneath. But you could also say that they're thrusters, and if they weren't there, you would have this massive gap. So I can't really complain underneath. It just all sort of fits really, really nicely. Um, my, my only other gripe is you've got the two guns. Now, it would have been better if they had given us two of these guns rather than two different guns because then when you put them on here... They would have um, been in sync with each other in terms of how they look on terms of the side. I mean, imagine two of those on the side would have looked awesome in my opinion. You can also take this piece off the top and then you just combine the two guns and then the longer one goes in the peg and it's like that. So you could do that as well. And that looks pretty decent, but um, yeah, a little bit disappointed with that because I'm sure they could have found a way to, you know, still give one with one hole and connect them, etc. They would, they could have made that work a lot better in my opinion. So, but it's just a little bit disappointment. I mean, you can see right through there in terms of the the shield, the windshield, but it's not the end of the world as far as I'm concerned. So there you have it, a little one. Quite a cool little bot, and especially, you, I think you're only going to buy this if you're really into G1, to be fair. You're not going to buy it for any other reason other than being a core fan of that series. Or unless you're really into figures, I shouldn't discount that, unless you just like figures and you like collecting everything Transformers. So there we go. There we have it. So I hope you like my review. If you do, please support my channel by subscribing. I really appreciate it. Uh, make sure you look after yourself. Very important these days. And if you are subscribed, we really appreciate your, your support. It does mean a lot to me. And as always, embrace geekiness. Take care. Goodbye.